It is a beautiful sunny day out right now at this moment as I am speaking. And I thought to myself, Jade, we're gonna have to do something sun related today. It is cosmic law that if it is that sunny out, I'm gonna have to do something that is related to the sun. You can check that in the universe book of facts. I'm pretty sure it's on page one. This is truly too small for anything, but I purchased it and I really wanna use it. So here we are. I thought they needed like a red carpet moment reveal, but all I have is hair here, so. Today I am reviewing my absolute favorite and only pair that I have ever owned, prescription sunglasses. <laughs> this was one of those things that I decided to get for myself during quarantine because there was a lot of sadness, okay. And if I can make myself feel better with a pair of sunglasses, that's exactly what I was gonna do. It's really hot in here. Is it this warm in here because of the sun or because I'm nervous? That's a question I find myself asking often. It's sunny out, obviously I was gonna talk about sunglasses today. It's a no-brainer. Sorry, desk. So during quarantine, I decided that I was going to get myself my first ever pair of prescription sunglasses. There's something that I have always wanted, but I've never felt like I should invest the money in it. And obviously that all went out the drain as soon as a global pandemic hit. It was just one of those things where I thought, sure, it would be nice to have my eyes protected somewhat while I'm outside, but do I want to spend the dollars to do that? And then there's also the part of it where wearing sunglasses is just really fun. Like I instantly feel a little bit cooler when I have sunglasses on. I don't know why that's a thing. I'm sure other people feel that. I know I cannot be the only one, but there's something about putting on sunglasses that is just instant identity of coolness. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Me, Jade, without sunglasses. Me, Jade, with sunglasses. Like I wanna be friends with me at this very moment. Oh, shoot. Do you come here often? Only when my sunglasses need some fresh air. And you can do, you know, you can do one of these. That is just immeasurable amounts of attitude and swag that cannot be conveyed with just normal glasses. Look, watch, if I try to do that with my glasses on, for what purpose? Wh what purpose was there? This does nothing for anyone. Nothing, I feel nothing. I feel like I'm maybe getting ready to give someone a talking to about their use of the Oxford comma. I wouldn't know how to do that, I'm kidding. <laughs> but this does nothing for me. It actually it negatively impacts my life because I'm like, well now not only do I look ridiculous, but I can't see anything. This is where it is, this is peak levels of experience. And for so many years, I deprived myself of this by not investing in a pair of prescription sunglasses. I couldn't be more thrilled. I can tell you that right now. Am I gonna film this entire video wearing them? Yes. They're the point of the review that I'm doing today. Why would I take them off? Especially when I feel so damn good. <laughs> And isn't that what we come to YouTube and the internet in general for? We come here to feel good and spreading the goodness of feelings starts right here with me, you know? I have to be ground zero on my channel for good feels. Even my little nonsense teacup, it's instantly cooler with the sunglasses on. Like, of course I'm drinking from this tiny little teacup today. Why wouldn't I be? Look how epic it looks. It's not even tea in here, it's just water. That's how much I wanted to include this teacup in my life, is that I just drink water from it if I'm not in the mood for tea. Also because when would I ever only want this quantity of tea? No, this is clearly not enough tea for anyone. Let me give you a little background on these bangin' shades. I purchased these from a website called iBuyDirect. They're a place I had just seen like advertised and whatever, and I also had some friends who had used them before and things had went smooth. And they have like actual brands, like you can go there and buy Ray-Bans or whatever. The reason that I went with them is because I did not feel like going to an eye doctor and getting my prescription updated, which I totally should have done because it's been a 
couple years at least since um, these bad boys were examined, which I'm not here to condone that or say that that is a smart move. You should really keep your peepers in order and taken care of. But there was a pandemic, you know? I didn't feel like going to an eye doctor. It's been very hard to leave my house, okay? So I just decided that I had access to my old prescription and my lenses on my previous pair of like glasses glasses were getting really like chipped and scratched and stuff and they super needed to be replaced. That's what I was originally going for, not exactly the prescription sunglasses. And I didn't wanna go to an eye doctor at this current juncture in my life. I'm sure I will go again one day. I'm gonna have to because I can already tell <laughs> that I probably need a stronger prescription than what I'm using. <laughs> Isn't it fun when every day is just like a little bit of a struggle? What would my life be if things were just smooth all the time? So I went over to iBuyDirect and I looked for the cheapest <laughs> lenses. I sorted from price low to high and that's how I found my pair of glasses that I'm always wearing. And I ended up finding these frames and I realized that on iBuyDirect you can choose to make them normal glasses or you can insert like sunglasses lenses. And I thought, this is the moment you've been waiting for, Jade. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to leave your house. You can just click a button, add to cart, type in your little prescription, and then boom you can have the prescription sunglasses that you've always dreamed about that you've seen other people have and have lived in envy of it was my moment and i was not about to let it pass me by i can't even imagine going into the eye doctor going into lens crafters going through the whole process of getting my eyes examined and having to pick out a frame for my glasses and then on top of that being like you know what could i just check out what prescription sunglasses you have no i'm sweating I'm sweating just thinking about it. It's not happening. <laughs> but this was all online. This was so simple, so easy, effortless on my part. And if you will recall, I sorted from price low to high when I was looking. So these bad boys, the frames themselves, the lenses of course cost more money, but the frames themselves only cost me $9. $9. So when I saw that price tag, I thought, there's no reason not to try this out. How much are the lenses? I wonder if I can find out. Please hold. I'm gonna go check my purchase history. This is another one of those moments where it's like, couldn't you have prepared more for this review before you sat down and started? And the answer to that is always going to be absolutely not. So I purchased these last July. So not quite going on a year old of having them. I've located my order history. So like I said, the frames themselves cost me $9. And with the lenses, the prescription in there, and the whatever, sun coating, UV coating? In total, these cost me $25.95. I myself would not want to spend $25 on just like a pair of sunglasses. But I understand that I have to pay more because there's a prescription lens in them and that's just the way that big eye world works you know so $25 and I can go outside and feel cool and not have to squint at everything because the sun hurts my eyes that's a wonderful feeling these sunglasses are so cool that I think I could actually make pigtails work like I think if I just if I got the other one up here too like obviously I'm not gonna go out with one pigtail okay I'm not an animal but look I could totally go outside with two pigtails. Look at that. And these shades, nobody's gonna question this. People are going to probably stop and look, but it's only to be like, wow, look how confident and cool she looks. It must be the sunglasses. I am not a spokesperson affiliated with or being paid by iBuyDirect to review these sunglasses that I purchased from them. Just gonna throw that out there. But honestly, if you're like me and you don't wanna have to buy at the eye doctor store while you're there because it's too much, <laughs> then I would say they're a great website to try out. Plus I got to add this cute little carry case for like, I don't know, between five and $10 extra, I think. So I have a nice little case to put my sunglasses in when I'm not using them. I don't know why that makes me so happy, but it does. And it's pretty good quality, honestly. It's not, you know, it's not flimsy or anything and it feels nice. On value. For value, 
I absolutely give these a 5 out of 5. I feel like for $25, I have really gotten great value out of these because $25 is not something that I honestly thought I could spend and have a pair of prescription sunglasses that I could not only be protected from the sun, but from blurry objects. So that makes me super stoked to offer a 5 out of 5 on value to these because that price is just, as far as I know, probably unbeatable. Having done no other research and actually bought these kind of on a whim, <laughs> but the takeaway from this doesn't have to be that the review is specifically for this pair of $9 frames from iBuyDirect, but more about the concept, the idea of prescription sunglasses themselves. And that, as a whole idea, is what's truly getting the 5 out of 5. Because if you have the extra income to invest in something like this for yourself, then definitely do it. It's so fun. <laughs> It's occurring to me that at this point, maybe you're asking yourself, but Jade, why don't you just wear contacts and then you can wear whatever sunglasses you want? And I'll tell you why. Because contacts are evil, all right? You want me to put something into my eye? You want me to put my finger against my eye with just a thin little layer of, like, what even is that, plastic? Separating my finger from the literal surface of my eye? It's not happening. It's not happening. Big eye world, okay? I'm not doing it. You can't make me. Funnily enough, I actually did wear contacts for a while and it was excruciating and I suffered every day. Each night that I wore contacts, it was a fresh torture trying to get them out of my eye. And I woke up one day and realized, you don't have to do this. <laughs> it was one of those moments where I had to really check in with myself and ask, do you care more about your own comfort and well-being and happiness than you do about what people think of contacts? Because I know people love contacts and, you know, it's all like cool and stuff. And obviously wearing glasses all the time. It becomes part of your aesthetic, right? And there was a time in my life when I felt like people were going to judge me or think something about me because I wore glasses all the time. And I have to be honest, that day that I woke up and was like, why do I care? <laughs> What am I talking about? What people, what imaginary people am I talking about in my head? Because no one has been like, <laughs> you look dumb. And even if they did, that says more about them than it does me. So tangent coming to a close, I woke up one day and I thought, you don't have to wear contacts. You hate them and you're only doing this for other people, for other imaginary people in your head that don't exist. So since that time, I have exclusively wore glasses, but one of the biggest losses for me was always that I missed wearing sunglasses so much. And like I said, it was always one of those things where I thought, do I need to spend the money to get myself some sunglasses that I can see out of? And up until last July, the answer was always no, until that day that everything changed. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed to stretch it out, you know? Cool sunglass people don't want to hold tension in their bodies because it's uncomfortable. What was I talking about? Reviewing. That's what I'm here. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. I was on value. I honestly think that probably concludes the value section. I can't think of anything else that I need to tell you other than these cost $25 and it was worth it. Quality. I feel like these are actually pretty good quality. I've had some pretty terrible sunglasses that, you know, I've spent like $5 on that just are like the hinges or, you know, these this part or whatever is like flimsy and the screw ends up popping out of it eventually. And probably because you weren't prepared for it is lost forever. And then you just have a useless pair of sunglasses that I guess you could maybe tape to your face and still get use out of. But what kind of quality is that? These I feel like are actually really sturdy construction. I can put them on my face and they feel really comfortable. They don't like clamp my head too tightly. Although, you know, it just occurred to me that's only because I provided them my measurements and told them, like, can you make these glasses with the earpieces, you know, this long. I didn't provide them my measurements. The glasses come in measurements. What am I trying to do here? Clearly, I don't know how to use the iBuyDirect website, so stop asking, okay? Just go and look for yourself, all right? <sighs> I'm sorry, I got overwhelmed and a little stressed and I shouldn't have taken it out on you. But the fact of the matter is, I apparently don't remember how the iBuyDirect website works and what measurements you can provide to have these customized, so you're still gonna have to go look for yourself, I'm sorry. Okay, so I will take these off so you can kind of, I don't know, get a little closer. Oh no, they're kind of dirty. <laughs> Don't let that factor into the review itself because I promise you these can be cleaned. I just didn't do it. You can see the tent. Hey. 
They're just a really basic matte black frame. There is no detailing or extra color or pizzazz anywhere on them, but that's fine because that is honestly exactly what I wanted. They have a ton of frames on iBuyDirect though and probably something else like in the lower price range that you could find if you were looking for more of a color or something more like fun about the shape itself. But I've always been the biggest fan of just simple, large, plain black sunglasses. I appreciate that I don't have to expend too much energy trying to decide, does this like look okay with my outfit? <laughs> Like, am I making the statement that I want to make? The frames themselves, very simple, no frills, but I do think the quality, the construction is really good. Like I said, I've had these since July of 2020, so not quite a year yet, but coming up on it, and because I could only do things outside for the last year, I have worn them quite a lot and they haven't like loosened or the lenses haven't scratched. And I do always keep them in the carrying case just to make sure that they're extra protected more so than I would with a regular pair of sunglasses because these have a prescription in them. So I'm definitely a little bit more protective of <laughs> please don't break. But I would say for the $25 that I spent, the quality on these is really good. And I can only imagine that if you were to spend like a little bit more, like maybe go up a few dollar signs to some of their other lenses, they probably are even better quality. I don't actually know. <laughs> we are looking so cool in our sunglasses. Recommendations. If you couldn't tell, yes, I do recommend. And just to throw out there again, I'm not recommending this exact pair if they're not your style or you don't want to buy from I Buy Direct like I did and you want to go to, I don't know, a different location, <laughs> whether virtually or physically. It's been so long since I went places physically that I almost forgot what the word was to describe things that you're doing in person. In person. That would have been another way. What I am really recommending is investing in a pair of prescription sunglasses because I do think it's really worth it. It's really interesting for me because it's turned out to be a lot more worth it than even I had envisioned and imagined all these years of wishing that I had a pair. Now that I actually have a pair, I'm like, this is such a smart investment because <laughs> it really is nice to go outside and not have my eyes hurt because the sun is so bright or to feel like I have to squint to like see people because I'm being blinded by the light. I think now, that I have a pair of my own, I see it as a little bit more of not maybe a necessity, but less of a luxury item that I kind of had equated it to before. Hey, yo, you want to buy some prescription sunglasses? You have to go somewhere else. I don't have any here. Is the light insane in here? It's probably because I keep like moving and my camera's like, <laughs> can you stay in one place, please? Um, no camera, I cannot because I have prescription sunglasses now and people with prescription sunglasses are on the go. We live a very active lifestyle. I'm sorry, nobody came here to see me get into a fight with my camera. I could take it though for the record, I'd win, especially in these dope ass sunglasses. Ooh, one more point that I should have included earlier, but I forgot about. Something that I can't decide how much I like or dislike about these particular sunglasses though, and I don't actually remember if iBuyDirect has different like shading options. The ones that I got, which according to my order history were the basic tint light gray, which does lead me to believe there are probably different tints that you can get, but I bought the cheapest. <laughs> but one thing to note about them is that they are see-through, so you can see my eyes like through the sunglasses, which on the one hand, I'm like, eh, I don't want people to see what my eyes are doing because I don't know, they might be doing something strange and social anxiety. That's one of the benefits of sunglasses for me historically is yes, please cover up more of my facial expression. So I don't have to worry too much about whether my face is doing something that someone is going to find offensive or weird. But then on the other hand, I kind of like that people can see my eyes because I feel like communication can be better because of it, where people can see more of my facial expression and I can maintain eye contact with someone. Whatever part of the reviewing process that probably should have been in, I just wanted to throw that little nugget out for your consideration if you do go to purchase from where I have, that the basic tint, light gray, will be see-through. I don't know what kind of like vibes I have been feeling 
as I'm filming this today, but I keep just leaning forward at you. I've got to reel it back now that we're here at the very last bit of the video where I'm really just going to say goodbye. Because what about, what about my editing? You know how much I love that process. What if there's no room? What if there's no space for my words? The video will be useless. I'll have to throw it away. All right, we did it. Value, uh-huh. Quality, definitely. Recommendations, yeah. So there's nothing left to do but roll out the red carpet for you, my friend. Wait, I slipped into Sean Evans for a second. I could review hot sauces on here. Why not? I like hot sauce. And I'm sure Sean Evans doesn't have the monopoly on hot sauce content on YouTube, right? Sean Evans, give me a call if you would like to collab. I'll let you borrow my sunglasses. Thank all of you lovely humans for tuning in. Tuning in? That doesn't seem like something a cool person would say. Do people say that anymore or is that kind of an antiquated <laughs> phrasing thank all of you lovely humans so much for coming to my channel watching this review please consider giving this a like and subscribe you don't have to ring the bell if you don't want you can just like make your way back here whenever whenever you feel like you know i could use something relaxing to watch maybe something a little in the background that's semi-educational and informative or when you're like you know i could really stand to watch someone on youtube just wearing sunglasses for their whole video i feel like there's probably not enough of that content on here right seriously though it means a lot to me that you tuned in why do i keep saying tune it means a lot to me that you're here watching this i appreciate it i cannot wait to welcome you back offer you more reviewing content let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see me review or to know about and if it's something that I have done before I'll let you know what I think about it and if I haven't done it before I will consider doing it so that I can then tell you what I think about it that's my best offer like my channel subscribe I put out new content whenever I feel like it because I have sunglasses and I can do things according to my own schedule I will review you later Bye! Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who has the most bangin' sunglasses of them all? It's me.